on the NASA field in three, two, one, go. And here we go. All four machines here active in rolling. 8825S looks like they lost the mobile goal in that exchange. However, Ebot's pylons coming through as they are known to do in the 20 point zone right there. Red with your autonomous bonus. Countdown and driver control in three, two, one, go. Well, oh, there it is. And the crowd goes wild for that. <laughs> All right. Action picking up right here. Unfortunately, for 666X, one of their mobile goals has been tipped over. Let's see if they can actually get that righted. They may need that goal in order to close the scoring gap here. Don't forget, Red took your autonomous bonus at the end of that 15 second period. And they also have a 20 point mobile goal, two cones on top of that. Giving them a nice score right there. Blue does have the stacking bonus in the 20 point zone. Still early on here in the match. One minute left, Wings of Freedom going to work here. Looking to grab some cones. Looking to build up that stack on the mobile goal. In the meantime, 78-84D. Another one of our Chinese contingency here. Trying to score in that stationary goal. 52-25A, that's Ebot's pylon scoring in the 10 point zone effectively. Nicely done. 88-25S, Wings of Freedom. Played a little bit of D right there on blue. Trying to prevent them from scoring effectively here. Now 666X returning the favor right here. That's interesting. 30 seconds left here in match. Number 11 on the NASA field. Look at 7884D. They have a clean path right into the 10 point zone. Should be a big score here. Let's see if they can do it. That's a big stack. That's a precarious move. And they do so smoothly. Cooler than the other side of the pillow. Blue playing some massive defense right there on Wings of Freedom. You are seeing the physicality really being displayed right here. Five seconds up to the match. Four, three, two, one. Wow. What an unbelievable match that was right there. Red off to a hot start. Blue closing the gap with a gigantic stack. Then he saw some pretty rock solid aggressive defense being played there at the close of that match. Pretty incredible stuff. By the way, Paul, I love you. Back to you. Oh, back to me. Oh, back to you. You're back to me, not to you. Yeah, so in this match, you saw some <laughs> you saw some interlaced defense, right? So you see these two predominantly offensive robots up until this point. Now they're starting to play some strategic defense. Look, ooh, I got my score. I'm gonna slow you down a little bit on my way to get my next my next cone. We saw some autonomous tipping of goals, although it didn't really affect. These teams are good enough to flip those mobile goals back over. But we're seeing these offensive teams starting to play a little more strategic defense as we get further along in the tournament. Well, it's interesting because the teams are, <coughs> are adapting to what's happening out there on the field. And they're looking at the past matches and they're really coming up with new strategies. Only five mobile goals scored in that match. Yeah, I mean, again, they're playing, they're putting mobile goals in precarious positions. They're um, going after robots that have mobile goals that may be too far away from their scoring zone, getting in the way, playing positional defense. I mean, this is offense and defense at the same time. It's, it's really fun to watch. So why do you think the teams are starting to play more defense now? Like, we're seeing it happening. Do you think it's the influence of defensive strategies being played earlier? Do you think they were waiting for specific matches to try this? I think, I think they're looking at the matches that in front of them, and they're like, oh, man, that robot had a real hard time with defense. So maybe we should put a little bit of defense on them to slow them down, get them out of their rhythm, right? We don't want this to turn into a skills challenge where there's four robots on the field just kind of doing it. If you can mess up their rhythm, then that'll buy you seconds, and buying you seconds can get you to win the match. All right, it looks like the score is ready for that match. It was a close one. Technology takes it, 95 to 84. So that really jumbles up the standings in the middle. For It's, a, it's really an all-out race for number two. Right, let's take a look at our updated standings. And we see that technology at 4-0 has clinched a spot in the finals. Even if they lose their last match, they are locked into one of the top two positions because everyone else has two lo uh, these if two they, losses. If they lose their last match, they're still number one. Uh, that's correct. And they only, would only have one.